Hi everybody, welcome to Privies and Prims. This is a little floss tube extra. I wanted to share with you an incredible happy mail package that I got from one of my viewers. And she sent me so much good stuff. I am I'm just so thrilled with it. And I thank you, you know who you are. I'm not going to um, post any or announce any names because I didn't ask permission for that. But um, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. So the first thing that I want to share with you is she told me that this is called Prairie Cloth. And I got a pretty good sized piece of it, but I've cut it into um, some more manageable pieces. I cut it into three pieces. So this is Walnut Stained. And I've never seen this actually before. I'll show it close up. Um, hopefully it's not blurry. But you can cross stitch on it and it's I'm going to use it to do this pattern because it's a bag. So um, by Not Forgotten Farm. And this fabric is heavier than um, like the Osnaberg that I've been stitching on. And I love the color with the walnut stain. So I thought that it would be perfect for this. And I'm going to actually use this. Um, it says that it's for your spools of thread, but I'm actually going to use it as a little project bag because this is what I normally use, just a plastic bag. Um, I normally do small projects, so that kind of works. And I just stick the threads in there. And then I would fold the fabric and put it inside here. So um, I'm going to make this. And actually, this one is the size that I've cut. And I will um, use that for my little bag. So hopefully that comes out good. And I'm actually going to start that today. So I will show you my progress on that and my floss tube on Sunday. Um, she also sent me, now some of this will be giveaways and some of it, a lot of it I will keep. This is a piece of Ada. It might be maybe about a 16 count. I love the color of it, but I don't really like stitching on Ada. So this is going to be in a giveaway in the future. Um, this one also sent me a bunch of fabric and this is like a vintage 30s. It says on it, um, it says 30s collection and then it's a name that might be French. I'm not sure. It's, I can't, I can't read it. Um, but this will be also in a future giveaway. It's, that's folded in half. So it's twice that size. Very vintagey looking. I like dark prim colors, so this one will be shared with someone else. Um, I'm going to show you these fabrics. Oh my gosh. Uh, I will actually, there's so much here, I'll break it up and show you some fabrics and then show you some other stuff. So she sent me these to use as backings for little pillows and things. Um, on my screen, it's looking kind of red, but it's really like a rusty brown. So these are, oh beautiful prim fabrics that are going to make perfect backings for little pin keeps and pillows and things and uh, stand-ups even anything that I make look at that one that's kind of like um maybe that's a civil war that's a pretty pretty good size piece love that blue being my favorite color I think I had some of this before. Again, on my screen, it's looking red. Sometimes on my screen, it looks a different color than what it looks like when I play back the video. But this is a brown. This one is really pretty, like a cottagey rose. That's folded in half. So it's double that. Now, some of them are small pieces, which is fine because that is enough for a pin keep. And... Let's see, there's two of these brown. Here is a green. And there's two, four, five pieces of this. And then I'll break and show you a pattern. My favorite pattern of all the ones that were sent. It's a Stacy Nash. I love Stacy Nash. You can get it there without the glare on it. I love that. I definitely will be making that. It's called Pine Tree Farm Pin Keeps. Let me take it out. Maybe you can see it better. 
kind of a dark picture there. So hopefully you can, well, can you see that? I'm not sure what kind of glares you're getting from my window blinds. And another pattern from Not Forgotten Farm. I'll take this one out too. This one I'm going to share on a future giveaway. I don't think that I would make that one. Um, it says, one says True Blue, Sweet, and that one says Friends. And this is Punch Needle. Forgot to say that. So that is one that will be a future giveaway. And this one I already have, and I've already made it. Not Forgotten Farm. This is Punch Needle. So I will be sharing that one also. Beautiful pattern made up. And then I'll get back to the fabric. Now, this is a pretty good size. This is fold it in half. Green is my second favorite color. There's only a little bit of that missing. So that's a pretty good size piece. That could even be like a project bag or something. Um, this is some um, dark red. Let's fold it in half. It's like a, a dark burgundy, or I'm sorry, barn red. With the print. And this is more green. It's a pretty good size. It's folded multiple times. It's folded over in half and then in half again. So it's twice that. It's a pretty good size. Can you agree that this viewer was super, super generous with what she has sent me? It definitely is happy mail. This is folded over, so it's twice that one. And then these are flannels. So um, here's this one. That's two pieces. Love this one. These are nice soft flannels, good for backings. There's two pieces of that. Two pieces of this one. Now some of these are gonna be really great for fall. Two pieces of that. If I was making a quilt, my gosh, I'd have all these. This is the pile that I haven't even went through yet. If I was making a quilt, there'd be a lot already cut. I'll show you some of the other stuff now. This is a piece of Swigart. 32 count Belfast linen that I will be dyeing to change the color. And 32 count is what I like. And some of these little patterns, these will be giveaways. These is Bent Creek, a pattern for fall. This one is called Sweet Nothing Sugar and Spice, and it says sugar and spice and everything nice. That's what little girls are made of by JBW Designs. There. This is another Bent Creek. It's called Red Winged Blackbird. This is really cute in a little barn frame, barn wood frame. And in a Valentine's Heart and Hand, it's called Wee Valentine. I think, do they call that a mattress pin keep? That's kind of what it looks like. Um, 71 by 71. But it does look like it's kind of that, um, you know, like that thick and square. And this one says America. I think I will be making this one. And then I'll share it afterwards. And that is Twisted Threads, Itty Bitty America. So I'll go back to the fabrics. These are still flannels. There's two pieces of each of these. And that's how big they are, all the ones that I'm showing you here now. And how gorgeous is this? Look at that, it's flannel. Beautiful. Two pieces of that. I'm gonna be busy if I try to use up all this fabric. It's gonna last me a long time. This one will be great for fall for the back of things with pumpkins. This one is actually, 
It has like little clovers on it. It's red and green. That could be used for multiple things too. This one, I think it's, um, actually I have my light off because even though it looks really light on me, if I turn my light on, it puts like a glare, really bright glare on my head. So I think this is kind of a rusty orange, but the colors are, I, I'm not looking in good light myself. This is perfect for fall. This is an orangey color. This one is a really dark red. And this one definitely for fall or maybe even Christmas because it's like pine needles. This one is like, it's either black or navy blue with little flowers on it. Good friend to have here, huh? Yeah, she sends good stuff. And wait to see what she sent at the end that I just found last night. This is a blue. Two pieces of each of these. I'm not sure what she cut them for, what she was originally going to make. This is good for fall. I'll have to ask her what she was going to make with these. Because they're all cut the same size, like she was going to do a quilt. I think this is like a dark green and a black. Almost done the flannels. This one would be beautiful for Christmas. It's a really dark green and a dark red. That would be really pretty. And then this is, I think it's the same. I think it's the same print, different color. Same design, different colors. And two more of the flannels. Again, perfect for fall. I am set for fall backgrounds. And one more. This looks like a dark green and black and brown. Also good for fall. So those are the backing fabrics that she sent me. And then she sent me a Pineberry Lane pattern. Let me get this out of the sleeve. I will definitely be making this one. So cute. I love that. And the table's getting full here. This is a punch needle kit for a little sheep. This will be a future giveaway. And it has, I think I was looking at it yesterday. It has your weaver's cloth. You would probably, on this one, for a punch needle, you're going to have to add fabric to the outside to get it on a hoop, unless you have a really small hoop for that, a little small Morgan hoop. Um, this is a backing fabric and a little pin, because it is a pin, and the floss here. So that is a whole little kit, and I'll just flash it real quick, but that's how little it is. It looks like... It's maybe a little over an inch square. So I think I will, an inch and a half square. I will double check on that when I do the giveaway, but uh, I think everything is in there. That's from 2005, Karen Amadio Gates Folk Art Designs. Another pattern is small sampler number one from you and you, you and I, and it's E-W-E, and I, E-W-E-Y-E, -E, and friends, a new twist to Twisted Threads, and it's from twistedthreads.com. Hopefully you can, yeah, you think you can see that, maybe, is it too close? So I haven't opened that yet, um, but it, it has a crow, and looks like a strawberry, and some vines, and a heart. And this one is Heartstrings Samplery. I'll take this out just because there's a I know there's a glare. This is really cute. Patriotic Americana ones. Do that on some coffee stain, then it totally changes that look. So I probably may make a few of those, and then I will share that as a giveaway. 
This is another punch needle kit from the same person, Karen Amadio Gates. Folk art design. So let's see. Yeah, again, let's see the, the backing fabric, the pin is here, the pattern, and the floss. So you see how small that is. And this is that pattern. So it is a one and a half inch square. That will be a future giveaway for Punch Needle. And then this one is Homespun Sampler Teach Me to Cross Stitch. And it has a piece of fabric in it. And the cover part, it just says Bless Our Home. So it doesn't have a finished um, picture. Copyright 1999 Homespun Sampler. And it might, I think there might be floss in there. Yes, there is some floss in here. Probably enough because there's not much to that one. Again, I'll just flash it quick like that. And, oh my gosh, a Brenda Gervais pattern. How generous is this woman? Everybody loves Brenda Gervais. This is a hanging ditty pocket, which I will definitely make. Eight by nine hanging ditty pocket. Look at that. Is that not adorable? With the little buttons at the bottom. I'll definitely be making that and I know just where I want to put it. I love that one. And last but not least, a huge piece. This is fold it and fold it and fold it. Yardage of weaver's cloth for a punch needle. This is gonna last a long time. I will share some of it with you for those that do punch needle. I will do some giveaways. Um, so I know you guys may be feeling left out because I've just been doing so much cross stitch. And honestly, I don't have, I've went through my punch needle patterns and there's nothing that really strikes me in the mood right now to punch. I'm still, um, haven't got the threads yet to finish those firecrackers, so I haven't finished those, but, um, I just, my heart right now is in cross stitch, and I almost did a Teresa Kogut, I was going to do this for spring, um, and that's at a Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine 2019 spring issue. I was going to do that, and then this morning I got up and I looked at it again. I was like, I just really am not in the mood to do punch needle. So I'm going to stick with the bag that I showed you first that I'm going to do on the prairie cloth. And uh, because I need something for when I go around, you know, when I go somewhere to a stitching group or something. This is what I've been using, and I got this. Um, this is from Primitive by Kathy. But it's just a small bag. And that's what it says. And I really love it. And it's nice little bag. You just put your stuff in there and carry it around. And it works. This. Okay, just put back in there because I want to take it somewhere with me. My son went to Taiwan last month with his girlfriend who is from Taiwan. And they brought me back these candies. And I'm sharing them when I go to like a stitch along or, you know, my rug cooking group or something. I take them there. They're strawberry flavored, but they're like a really um, thick, hard taffy. So they're kind of hard to eat with our old teeth that aren't all ours, you know, if you know what I mean. So um, it will pull your teeth out. So I've been sharing them so that um, I'm not eating them all. Love the color of the box. It's my color. You can see the back is a, a different language. But they brought me back that as a souvenir, and I leave it in this bag because then when I go somewhere, I have it with me to share. So that is all for this video. I will be putting out a floss tube on Sunday, and I'll update you. I've got some finishes. I'm going to be working on this little bag. And there's something else that I'm going to try to make. Um, I'll be gone most of the day tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I will get it done in time for Sunday's video. Maybe in the one after that. Um, but that's it. Um, Thank you again to my generous, generous friend who shared all these wonderful things with me. And some of them I will be sharing with you guys, the viewers. 
And please hit that thumbs up if you haven't already and watch some of my old videos. There's lots and lots of videos there. I am on a personal goal quest here um, and I need like 400 more watch hours. So it really helps me if you watch some of my older videos and just hit a playlist and let it run and watch. See, there might be something that you're really interested in. So uh, that would help me. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of all this stuff. Have you ever had such great happy mail? Oh, I forgot. There's more. But wait, there's more. Forgot about that. These are some things of chenille to use for edgings that she tied together. This is some um, really, I'm not sure what it is. It's kind of like a little rope, but it's really soft and smooth. That was in there. Some sweet cinnamon spice organic teas. And what I found last night, right before I went to bed, when I picked all this up to put it away, I found something really great. Among all this other stuff that she has included, she added this. The best. <laughs> this kind of competes with the Stacey Nash and the Brenda Gervais pattern. And the Lori Brecklin pattern. What do you think? Would you rather have the M&Ms or the patterns? Let me know in the comments. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye.